The diagram below shows four points A, B, C, D. A is the point negative 2, 1. C is the point 10, uh, negative 15. So these are the, this is point A, which is negative 2, 1. C is 10, comma, negative 15. Uh, B and C, okay. Point, sorry, B and D. The points A, B, C, D are the corners of a square. Find the coordinate of D. So this is what we want to find. We want to find the coordinates of D. Now, as square, uh, all the sides are equal. Uh, the diagonals are mutually perpendicular and they bisect each other at right angle. Okay, so this is one of the very key feature of uh, the diagonals of a square, which you should know as year 12 students. Now this question has been taken from NZQA uh, exam of 2011 on the topic of uh, coordinate geometry of year 12 or level 2. So the diagonals of a square bisect each other at right angle. That's the property. So that's why I have shown O is the point of intersection. So AC, AC is perpendicular to BD. So this is one feature. AC is equal to BD. And the point of intersection is the midpoint of both the diagonals. Or in other words, O is equidistant from ABCD. And that's what I've written. AO is equal to BO is equal to CO is equal to DO. Okay, that means in other words, this is also the circumcenter. You can draw a circle passing through uh, ABCD if OA or OB is taken as a radius. Okay. Now, this is very clear. AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. So, and this is, of course, O is the midpoint of AC. So, adding the X coordinates, you get minus 2 plus 10 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. And if you add the Y coordinates, you get negative 14, divided by 2. So, this is also clear. Now, if you want to find the distance of AD using Pythagoras, uh, I hope you understand this is x plus 2 square root of, or this is a distance formula, or distance formula is nothing but Pythagoras theorem. So square root of x plus 2 squared plus y minus y 1 squared. In the same way, if you take the distance of CD, it is x minus 10 squared plus y minus minus 15, which becomes y plus 15 squared. So this is clear, this is clear. Okay. So we want to find, so I'll go step by step. I'll work the example out. Okay, now DO in the same way, uh, O has a coordinate of, uh, O has a coordinate of 4, comma, negative 7. So the same principle using distance formula, it is X minus 4 squared plus Y take away negative 7, which is Y plus 7 squared. Okay, so this is something that you can do uh, from the information that is given. Okay. So we know that AD, AD is equal to AD is equal to CD. These two are equal. So you can equate this two. Okay, so that's what I've done the next step. Okay, AD is equal to CD. So we can say AD squared is equal to CD squared. So basically, I've equated this. I've squared both sides. So the square root the radical is removed. So x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to this whole thing. Okay, now the rest is, uh, the remaining is simple expansion. So I hope you can see that. I'm not reading it out. I hope it is clear. So this is the simplified form of this. Nothing great here. The only thing that I've done is 4 plus 1 is 5 here. And I've grouped, arranged it. And 100 plus 225 is 325. So the next step is, of course, this and this gets cancelled with this and this. So this is left over from here and here. Okay, now making uh, into an XY form. Uh, I hope you understand. You add 20x to both sides, you get 24x. You take away 30y from both sides, you get this. And you take away 5. So this is this. And you can divide this by 8 this by 8 and this by 8. So this next step is 3x minus 4y is 40. And now I'm going to make y the subject. So if we make y the subject, 
I can write 4y is 3x minus 40. I can divide this by 4, this by 4, and this by 4. So that is nothing but y is equal to 0 0.75x minus 10. Okay. Because of this way, I can save lots of time of me writing the whole step. Okay, now, <clears throat> what are we saying now? A is negative 2, 1, and C is 10, 15. So let's find the distance of AC. So using against the distance formula, uh, the same rule, minus 2, AC squared is, using Pythagoras, this uh, AC squared is 400. So AC is 10. Sorry, 20. AC is 20. Okay, now, if AC is 20, you can see also BD is 20 because the diagonals of a square are equal. So if AC is 20, BD is also 20. And O is the midpoint of BD. So OD, let me show you the figure. What I'm saying is AC is 20, so BD is also 20. And O is the midpoint of both AC and BD. So if BD is 20, DO would be 10. Okay, that's what I'm uh, aiming at. So DO is 10, so which implies DO squared is uh, 100. Okay, now DO uh, is, D is X comma Y, and O is, O is the center, or O is the midpoint of the diagonals, so 4, negative 7. So DO squared can be written like this. And du squared is nothing but 100. So this is a simple expansion of this. And so when you simplify this, you get this x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 14y plus 65. 65 is 49 plus 16. And then this simplifies to this. Okay. Now, we know that y is 0.75x minus 10. So I'm going to substitute this back into this equation. So this becomes x squared plus in place of y I put 0.75x minus 10 minus 8x, the same thing. You can see the steps. So now again, this is expansion. Uh, I hope you can understand the expansion. I'm not going into details so you can understand. This expands to this. Okay. And uh, this simplifies to this. Okay, so simplified form of that is 1.5625x squared minus 12.5x minus 75. Okay, now after this, you can use those who have the graphic calculator, can use the graphic calculator. But from here, the explanation is for those who don't have a graphic calculator, the people who use only a simple uh, calculator or scientific, uh, scientific calculator. So this step, 1.5624, I'll show this how I got this. I'm treating this as a simple uh, calculator. So 1.5625, if you want to change that as a the fraction, that is 25 over 16. So, and this is 25 over 2. And then I'm making, I'm multiplying this by, if I multiply this by 8, this becomes 16. So 25 times 8 is 200, and 75 times 16 is 1200. Okay, and then I'm multiplying all with 16, so this is your equation. And finally, if you divide all by 25, this by 25, this by 25, and this by 25, you get this. So this has become a simple quadratic equation of x squared minus 8x minus 48 is equal to 0. And that will give you two answers, x is, 40, uh, x is 12 or x is negative 4. Now, if you look in the diagram, uh, though it is not drawn to scale, D is to the left of C. So the x coordinate of D has to be less than 10. That's my argument. So I'm saying like this. You got two options x is 12 or x is mathematically it is right but in case in terms of c i'm saying like this now c is 10 negative 15 so x has to be less than 10 so the option that we have is 4 so x has to be negative 4 so i'm uh, negating this i'm 
rejecting this uh, answer and accepting this x is negative 4 so if x is negative 4 uh, you can find y by using this formula and y is negative 13 so when x is negative 4 y is negative 13 so the coordinate of b are negative 4 negative 13 now to check your answer always good to check your answer this is an excellent question so always good to check your answer we know a is negative 2 1 c is 10 negative 15 we have found b is and o we already found is 4 negative 7 so we already know that d o is 10 so uh, can we use this answer of d to get 10 so d o is negative 4 take away 4 squared again using the distance formula plus negative 13 plus 7 squared this is negative 8 squared which is 64 and this is negative 6 squared which is 36 which is square root of 100 which is 10 so this is confirmed and we need to confirm ad okay now ad okay ad so this we know this is 10 this is 10 all uh, these distances are 10 and this is a right angle so this d is using pythagoras is 10 squared plus 10 squared which is 200 so d is square root of 200 d is square root of 200 or we also found ac is 200 somewhere okay uh yeah no so we need to show we if we find found the value of x y we should be able to confirm that this distance is uh, 200 or square root of 200 okay that's what i've tried so d o and that's what i've said that d has to be square root of 200 so a d is so we know the coordinate of a and we know coordinate of d so using a and d i have gone negative 2 take away negative 4 is plus 4 plus 1 take away negative 13 is so this is 2 squared which is 4 and this is 14 squared is 196 and 4 plus 196 is 200 